So we were doing the book back exercise of chapter 13, motion and time, right? Did we finish fill in the blanks? SI unit of distance covered by a body is meter. Okay, fine. We finished. Okay, once again, I'll just quickly tell the answer, then you will need to work out. Fill in the blanks. SI unit of distance covered by a body is meter. Basic unit for measuring time is second. Speed is the distance an object covers in unit time. Distance covered by a vehicle is recorded by the odometer. When an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, the body is said to have uniform motion. Now we have to do true or false, right? Speed indicates the direction of motion of a moving body. Speed indicates the direction of motion of a moving body. Is it true or false? Then what is uh, speed actually is the distance an object covers in a unit time. It doesn't indicate the direction of a motion of a moving body. It is false. False. It's not true. False. One kilometer per hour is equal to five per 18 meters second. Is it true or false? I gave you a homework to do in your previous class on Friday, page number 178. Did you do that homework? One kilometer is equal to thousand meter. One hour is equal to three thousand six hundred seconds. So one kilometer per hour will be thousand divided by three thousand six hundred seconds. And you divide it by Two, you get five by eighteen meter second. So you can convert speed in meter per second into kilometer per hour by multiplying the answer by eighteen by five. So if you have done, did you do that homework on page number one seven eight? Nobody has done the homework, no reply. So that means you have not done the homework. Did you submit your activity? Everyone? I think I gave you time till today, Monday or before Monday, right? So finish off your activity. If you are showing, I cannot see but because I can see only my video. If I have to see your video, I have to come back and see. See, I want everybody to submit your, uh, your activity by today. Fine.
So coming back to our calls, one kilometer per hour is equal to five by eighteen meter per second. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Today you will all do the homework also. I will ask any one of you to <coughs> do or show me the sum. Next question: A pie chart gives information in the form of comparisons. A pie chart gives information in the form of comparisons. Is it true or false? A pie chart. How will be a pie chart like this? Right, so it will tell you the amount of a particular thing. Say x, y, z. This is seventy percentage, fifty percentage, forty percentage. So, does it help you to compare things? Yes, it helps you to compare things. It's true. Next, the speed of a train is measured in kilometer per hour. The speed of a train is measured in kilometer per hour. Is it true or false? Is it how was it measured in kilometer per hour? The speed of a train. How is the speed of a train measured? Come on, give me the answer. Yes, it is measured in kilometer per hour. So it is true. All the vehicles which we use, the two wheelers, four wheelers, and even these uh, heavy vehicles and bus, trains, everything, the speed is measured in kilometer per hour. Okay. So it is true. Fifth one, the time period of a pendulum is never constant. Is it true or false? The time period of a pendulum of given length is constant. So the statement which says that it is never constant is false. 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 Okay. The time period of a pendulum is never constant. The statement is false. If you want to clarify, you can turn the page and check page number 184, the last paragraph, the second last line. The time period of a pendulum of given length is constant. Next question. Atomic clocks are used for measuring the time in athletic events. Atomic clocks are used for measuring time in athletic events. Is it true or false? Yes, it is false. What is used? In athletic events, stopwatch is used. Very good. So, true or false? The first one is false. Second one true. Third one true. Fourth one true. Fifth one and sixth one are false. Now, very short answer questions. Very short answer questions. The first one is first one name the clock used for measuring time in scientific events the famous scientist galileo galilei was the first to observe that a pendulum of a definite length always takes the same time to complete one oscillation his experiments and observations led to the development of pendulum clocks. 
it is given in your book on page number 183 it's interesting in the yellow box the famous scientist galileo galilei was the first to observe that a pendulum of a definite length always takes the same time to complete one oscillation his experiment and his observation may uh, inspired him to develop the pendulum clock so the question is the very short answer type question one name the clock used for measuring time in scientific events the answer is pendulum clocks pendulum clocks p e n d u l u m what do we call the metallic ball of a pendulum you know that there is a metallic solid sphere the ball what do we call that metallic uh, ball as in a simple pendulum yes very good it is called bob bob good next question what type of motion is executed by the bob of a simple pendulum what type of motion is executed by the bob of a simple pendulum yes the, we know that the simple pendulum works with principle of based on the periodic motion because the what is periodic motion the motion which is repeated in equal intervals of time is called periodic motion and the simple pendulum executes periodic motion exhibits periodic motion find the answer for the next question next question what is a distance time graph having a straight horizontal line indicate so in a distance time graph a straight horizontal line will indicate what it will indicate uniform motion am i right will it indicate uniform motion or non-uniform motion if the line is straight horizontal line What happened to you all? Why there is no answer? Are you all feeling sleepy or what? How is it periodic motion? See when in a distance time graph, if your answer is making you to get a horizontal line like this, then it is a uniform motion. But if you don't get a straight line like this, instead you get a zigzag line, then this is not uniform motion. Right? What is uniform motion when a body travels equal distances of time in equal intervals of time? Equal distances in equal intervals of time. So it is uniform motion. What is the difference between an odometer and a speedometer? Odometer and speedometer. What is the difference? What is an odometer? Tell me what is an odometer?
what is an odometer and what is a speedometer okay turn your pages and find the answer and tell me what is the answer yes very good odometer will record the distance traveled by a vehicle okay good kasturi mahadevan and galip good others what happened i think everyone is feeling hungry yeah no answers speedometer see odometer is an instrument that will help you to measure the distance traveled by a vehicle where speedometer will help you to measure the speed of a moving vehicle when it is running okay odometer and speedometer yes so now next time onwards when you all sit with your parents when you go in a scooter or a four wheeler you will observe this odometer and speedometer right and teach your siblings the term odometer and speedometer so on page number what will you write the answer refer page number 1 number 176 where you have the first line on page number 176 the first line of the last paragraph speedometer and odometer the speedometer measures the speed of a moving vehicle when it is running the speedometer has a symbol kilometer per hour page number 176 you have the answer ma then odometer is an instrument used to measure the distance traveled by a vehicle okay so mark that last paragraph then so write down the answers quickly finished finished ma'am okay now what we are going to do is we will do the numericals which are given on page number 187 right so you have few numericals a body covers a distance of 5 meter what 181 one second 181 we finished now in the last class who is asking ma we finished 181 page number uh, no ha ah, then Yeah, I'll write it down on this side. Just copy it down. Don't go wrong. One seventy-eight. I gave it as homework. but i think most of you have not done that homework so i'm giving you time i will make you people to show me the answer tomorrow okay so you will show me the answer tomorrow i will ask any one of you to tell me the answer so today you will work out those sums and tell me the answer tomorrow so wait i'll quickly write down, write down the page 181 answer for the person who was absent or in their attention whatever so fill in the gap the first one is speed of the object the distance an object covers in a unit interval of time is called speed of the object second the instrument used to measure speed of a vehicle is called speedometer speedometer third an athlete runs a distance of 200 meters in 40 seconds the speed of the athlete is dash So we have the distance, we have the time. How do we measure speed? 
distance traveled divided by the time taken. So 200 divided by 40, we get the answer 5 meter per second. So the answer is 5 meter per second. How do we get the answer? 200 is the distance. The time is 40. So we divide that. We get 5. Okay. Okay. Now, yes. Now quickly take a rough notebook or common division notebook. You are going to work out these sums and tell me the answer. Ready? Yes, so first question. A body covers a distance of 5 meters, 20 centimeter in 8 seconds. Calculate the speed of the body. We, how do we calculate the speed? Just now I told you, distance traveled divided by the time taken will help you to find the speed. Okay, so that's how we find the speed. Now we have the distance here, we have the time here, you have to find the speed. 5 meter 20 centimeter, you can write it as 5.20. Am I right? 5.20 divided by 8. Quickly divide and tell me the answer. I want everybody to answer. I'm going to ask any one of you. Randomly, I'm going to ask any one of you. Five point two zero divided by eight, ma. See, a body covers a distance of 5 meter 20 centimeter. So we are going to write as 5.20 meter. Then we have the time, which is 8 seconds, right? Now you have to find the speed, so distance traveled distance travel by the time taken. So 5.20 divided by 8, what is the answer? Yes, it is 0 0.65 meter per second. Please write down these answers in your common division or your science notebook if you are writing the answers. I mean, if you are writing the question answers of all the lessons in a notebook, then you write down this there or else just copy it in, a, in the common division notebook. Yes, so it is zero, 0 0.65 meter per second. So the speed of the body is 0 0.6 meter per second. Right? Next question. Can I add this? No. Okay. Okay, I'll give you time. Copy, copy. Yes. 
distance is given, time is given, we are supposed to find the speed. Shall I rub it? Yes. Is everyone writing it down? I want everybody to write it down, please. Next question. A train is running at a speed of 60 meter per second. What will be the speed in kilometer per hour? So the speed of the train is given in 60. It is given in meter per second, which is 60 meter per second. Now we have to for convert this into kilometer per hour. Yes, correct answer. So you have a formula on page number 178, right? In 178, your homework which I gave you was that uh, the speed is given in kilometer per hour and you are supposed to find it in meter per second. Right? So how do we do it? Uh, in 2000 divided by 60 into 60. This is the formula I used. We know the speed, which is 60. Now, what do we do? As we have to find the value of x, we bring all these together 60 into 60 divided by 1000. Now you have to divide this and find the answer. What is the answer? Six six or thirty six, thirty six and two six is. 216 216 km per hour. Okay. Yes, the speed, the train is running at a speed of 60 meters per second. What will be the speed in kilometers per hour? So using the formula, we will find the value of x that is the speed. And the answer is 216 kilometer per hour. Very bad, Salvia. Did I say that I'm going to leave the class? Before that, itself, you're telling thank you and bye. Copy it down, children. Copy it fast. So, you please do the homework today. Those who haven't submitted the uh, uh, assignment is submitted today and do the homework which is given on page number I mean which I gave you in the last class page number 178 finish that off okay
and if after finishing that try to work out the remaining sums the numericals two three four five so we'll discuss all these things tomorrow take care we'll meet tomorrow thank you stay safe be healthy